What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna go over something that's just been kind of bugging me, so I really had to put it to a test. I'm always out of veiled crystals and I'm here to solve a veiled crystal farming method that I've been using and just testing over the last couple days, just to try to get veiled crystals because it seems to be the only material that everybody's out of. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we're here in Diablo 3 and let's go over to our, uh, like our currency tab here. And as you can see, this is something that's just been really like bugging me a lot. Um, I know, really love all the changes that they've made to a lot of this stuff in season two. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. So like we, we got plenty of, you know, the red amine, the blight shade, life veins, and a lot of this stuff. Gallo wine, which was huge for like just making your potions and crafting elixirs or crafting incense. So you find a very, very nice little you know sack of all of this stuff and even like our iron chunks man we're at 15k plenty of scatter prisms for when we're adding sockets silver ore plenty of that stuff for upgrading etc so i mean as you can see like a lot of this stuff is just i have thousands and thousands and thousands upon all of this these monster parts and then these salvage parts i mean look how much salvage parts i got you know just from farming you know 17k potent blood and then of course all the rubies which is just fantastic by the way so veiled crystals and forgotten souls seems to be the smallest amount um, out of all of these because if you're like me if i go over to my stash here i'm going to show you guys so if you're like me and you're playing multiple uh, multiple characters per season like this is for necro so i have a bunch of necro stuff that i've upgraded um druid you know some stuff upgraded and some extra parts barbarian same and then of course my sorceress which has been kind of my main i have so many gear pieces upgraded and of course each character has gear pieces just like they do all completely upgraded so one could make the argument that the reason that i'm i'm low on veiled crystals is because i have so many characters and i'm upgrading so many gear pieces yes that is true however if i was you know like most players and they only have one maybe two characters that you know you should have way more veiled crystals than this at the most i've had this season when i was just farming i had about two thousand veiled crystals but you go through them pretty quick when you go over to upgrade your gear pieces uh, especially or more importantly when you're re-rolling right upgrading isn't that much actually it's about 50 or so 60 i think um, we could check the exact numbers but when you're enchanting you know at 15 a pop i know you guys can't see that let me move this over uh at 15 a pop it can be very very intimidating to like want to waste these like you want to save these right for a helmet 13 for a weapon 15 etc right and as you have items with higher item power it's going to cost more you know 13 again and when you're re-rolling non-stop you're going to go through these very very quickly now one solution to this is whenever the devs decide to release the update to where we can um select a stat priority that we want to re-roll we're going to be able to see what possibilities can come from re-rolling that which will save us on our field crystals but until then we're kind of stuck with just re-rolling and hoping for the best and hoping that we get something really really good now with all of that uh I, you know i've gone through so much and i'm always out of yield crystals uh and it, and it really really sucks so you know you could spend hundreds just going through upgrading uh or excuse me re-rolling and now let's go over to an item and just upgrade as an example here just to kind of show you these boots are actually pretty good so i'll probably keep them even though the item power is um actually pretty low so let's just upgrade these right so like on boots it's three six so that's nine and then nine which is, uh, let me switch it to the other side so you guys can see here. So it was three, six for the first two upgrades, which is nine. The third upgrade is also nine, so that's 18, right? Uh, we'll do it again because you guys didn't see it, just so I have the math here. So let's let's uh, let's do a weapon real quick. Um, and we'll, let's do one that we're not gonna break down. Okay, so here we go. So you got eight for a weapon, 16, which is 24. Another 24, which is 48, just to level it. Uh, there which isn't bad like 48 veiled crystals isn't bad and then it's about another 36 to 40 for an armor piece which really isn't bad you know when you think about it in in its entirety because you're like oh that's not that bad i only lost you know 60 forgotten or veiled crystals it's not a big deal but when you're upgrading multiple pieces and even pieces that you're going to be changing out etc these can the veiled crystals can run dry pretty quick so with forgotten souls they made them a lot easier to get this season with the hell tides and just how all that works 
and um, salvaging items. So Helltop or Forgotten Souls really haven't been a big issue. Back in season one, Forgotten Souls definitely were a huge, huge problem on top of Veiled Crystals. But now that's pretty solid. Like I have plenty of Forgotten Souls. It's pretty easy. Um, to maintain these as with all of the Helltide farming for Dereo parts to be able to go fight Dereo, right? But Veiled Crystals seem to be a big problem still. So I've gone through and tested many, many strategies and ways to just farm Veiled Crystals. Some say doing, you know, Helltides is the way to do it. Some say doing Vamp Tides is the way to do it. You know, Tree of Whisper turn-ins, um, Nightmare Dungeons, etc. And what I found is that the most efficient way is doing nightmare dungeons however when you do get um yellow items to salvage or get rid of you have a very very good opportunity to get veiled crystals so the very first strategy that i'm going to share to you is just going into the vamp tide which is probably the most and easiest way if you guys have already seen my videos about how to do the vampiric um boss or the hell tide or excuse me vamp tide boss here um, the Blood Harvest boss or mini event where it drops an insane amount of items. That's a really, really strong way to get um, yellow items in particular. But it requires a lot of our, um, what is these? The Blood, I can't even remember what they're called. The Blood, uh, the Blood Crystals or whatever they're called. The Blood Crystals, I think. Um, but what's easier is all the keys. I have 487 keys. And what's easier is to just go into these and you go look for these chests that are right here. Right? And these chests, let me kill this guy. These chests automatically give you yellow items. So there goes three items right there. Blood lures, excuse me. So we get these three items, and it's very, very easy just to farm field crystals with these. So this chest piece, I don't need. I don't need these boots. Although the boots are actually kind of cool. And then same thing with the pants. So then what you can do is then you just go turn them in, right? You just go salvage them. And we got a bench right over here. So let's see how much these salvage for when you're just riding around and collecting these items. So you come over to the blacksmith, right? You're gonna, let me take that one off. You're gonna salvage the three pieces of junk, which is pretty easy. And we got two veiled crystals. So it's not a guarantee to always get veiled crystals when you're salvaging yellow items. However, salvaging these items can get you a bunch of veiled crystals just for opening up a chest. So all you have to do is just ride around, right? And open up these chests. They pop up all the time and they respawn. So you can just find these really, really easy. You just ride around and find them. Look, there's two up here. Again, we just pop it. And I'm never going to run out of keys, right? Like, keys are just going to always be there. So it's very, very easy just to accumulate these and just find items, right? Again, you're getting legendaries. You're getting pants. You're getting all this stuff to be able to open. It makes farming for guild crystals very, very easy. However, the, the most efficient way that I have found is just doing dungeons normal dungeons or nightmare dungeons because elites are going to be what drops the most field crystals so let me come over here to my trusty trusty spreadsheet that i made for you guys here um so i took the time to kind of farm and do these dungeons uh just to see how much field crystals i could get i don't want to worry about too much uh for time right now because every single dungeon is roughly about the same because you're only really looking to kill elites when it comes to collecting or farming veiled crystals so i have found that like through some of the main dungeons and some of our past favorites here that has elites this is roughly what you're going to get after every single run this is just one run only and then that is with picking up items and then you salvage the yellow items after you're finished so roughly it's about give or take eight or less uh, per dungeon and but that if you're gonna salvage items, which is just easy You just clear your inventory you pick up things along the way and you just mark them all you salvage all of them And you're getting roughly 8 to 10 maybe 12 on the back end But these numbers are are pretty fantastic when you think about how many veiled crystals you can get for just running through and killing elites Right lights watch um, is pretty good and then mercy's reach is okay. Of course conclave is a boss dungeon uh, very, very efficient this season. Even Sirocco Caverns um, is very, very efficient here. Now, I will have to preface this that through these dungeons that I've done, there is no events that I did, right? No cursed chests, no side events, nothing, right? No cursed, you know, uh, totems, nothing. We did no events in the dungeons just because I wanted to get a rough estimate because doing the events may or may not add or inflate these numbers. So if you do have them, I do encourage you just to go ahead and do them and just knock it out. You'll get even more veiled crystals because a lot of the times there's many, many elites that spawn on the uh, events inside dungeons, right? So those are without the 
events. So next, and one that I really, really want to preface is the Beast of the Ice Nightmare Dungeon, because I did this one last night. I got on an average of 50 or more. At the high end, I got 70. At the high end, I got 70 in one run, which is pretty fantastic considering. Now, if you guys do not know, Beast in the Ice is a nightmare dungeon, and it is one that you can actually go and craft. It is the new Beast in the Ice boss that you can do for Season 2, Season of Blood, which is actually really cool. Now, the equivalent of the dungeon is a level 31 nightmare dungeon however all the monsters are level 85 or higher which makes them you know makes it fairly easy when you're trying to farm so all you're going to do is come over to your occultist and you're going to craft a sigil it's like one of the first ones that you get here uh it's very very easy to do and you just craft you go to ancestral and you craft one boom done and done now remember guys that the glacial fissure the the nightmare sigil is the level so tier 31 plus 54 which would be 85 right it's an 85 nightmare dungeon it's very very easy to do and more importantly there is a crap ton of elites in this dungeon the only dungeon that i found from just doing my little experiment here that had just as many elites is probably conclave because we got conclave doing you know 50 night 50 on average veiled crystals uh lights watch is also good considering that the number might be a little bit higher with uh you know an event however this is without and these numbers are pretty crazy just in general um now however i will say this as a closing point too is like default by default you can just naturally just run nightmare dungeons you know per hour doesn't matter which ones you're doing and you can just you know farm and just kill elites however i was doing this with nightmare dungeons and without just going to like Surat's lair which this season is not a nightmare dungeon and you know just farming the elites there and you just really don't get that many right i did the same thing with sirocco and jahala's which are both nightmare dungeons this season i farmed them with and without it being a nightmare dungeon and it's basically the same so uh there's no like increase in elites that i found from doing them as a nightmare dungeon or not which would make doing you know certain dungeons like lights watch or something even more efficient because you can just reset it and you do not rely on a sigil However, besides Lights Watch or Conclave, Beast in, the Ice is, Beast in the Ice is a very, very good Nightmare Dungeon to do for Veiled Crystals because the high end is just so insane. And of course, you have the Beast in the Ice at the end, which is going to give you some even more gear pieces and maybe some that you need for a particular class. Um, so with that said, guys, I mean, this is the farming strategy that I've been doing. Definitely like the video. Comment down below and let me know which dungeon that you guys have been farming or something that you've been doing that has a lot of elites because veiled crystals drop like crazy now these numbers are going to change slightly because a elite can drop one to three uh veiled crystals per elite so it really just depends on the rng there but doing these dungeons is the most efficient way so comment down below let me know if you guys have another dungeon that it just has a crap ton of elites that maybe I've overlooked or I haven't tried this season or maybe something that's just different. I just overlooked it. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. And as always, stay gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy farming.